I'll be talking a little bit on the website, the toolkit, which I think is absolutely crucial for businesses and our media buying uh, activities. First of all, we are working on the www dot because it has been found that it's a little bit hard to find at the moment, so we are trying to buy the right extension for it. But at the moment, William, if you could, it's www.celticroots.irish backslash. So we are working on that, and hopefully you'll, um, you know, we'll be able to disseminate that information fairly soon. The website, as you can see, sorry, William, um, it has been created. It is live at the moment and it is being populated on an ongoing basis. It was created by a Welsh company called Tinnit using um, photographs that we have commissioned and some local authority stock photograph and most of the copy and text has been created by Heavenly. Uh, the photography was commissioned and it was a company called Mother Goose that have done the work for us, you saw about what seven or eight minutes earlier on of photographs. We have probably about 80 hours of photographs that's all going to be used. Now, the website itself is broken down into five main pages. If you scroll down there, just uh, okay, we have oh, yes, of course, the toolkit isn't live yet. The toolkit will be live fairly soon. We have the beacons, the moments and the discoveries, as Roger was um, discussing. Then we have the map, which is also live. And this I'm going to talk a little bit more about in a second. And because this is part of the toolkit as well, that is something that I think you'll, you'll all be very interested in. Um, yeah. Um, Sorry. The toolkit has been created specifically for businesses and our stakeholders. So whether it's Visit Wicklow or whether it's a Wicklow glamping site or whatever, the toolkit is, will be specifically for you. Uh, it outlines, um, this gives an, an outline of the project, its ethos and how you can get involved. There'll be exclusive videos, exclusive video content, and all of the commissioned photography will, will also be there. Now, through the toolkit is how we would like you all to get involved and immersed. By knowing your own local area, cross-selling and collaborating with your local businesses and generating synergy within the area, this will create a stronger trinity of networks and supports. This is making a bigger pie. Rather than everybody getting a small slice of the pie, we're hoping to build a much bigger pie in itself. And Paul Kelly of Fulch Ireland there very recently called it the stickiness. Um, how people will get involved, hopefully, is we would like you all to get pinned. By getting pinned, I mean you give us your website address and an accurate air code. We'll then pin that onto our map and all your information will be behind that. You will have access to all our photography and all our text and our copy and all the, the videos that we have. We're also going to be, um, well, we're going to encourage all of the businesses that, that use the website to become a bookable product because that seems actually it is the key thing that Fault Ireland is pushing to make sure that all businesses, once you click into their website, you can actually book it there and then rather than having to go around and around and try and find numbers and try and find the email addresses, you'll be able to book it there and then. So that's what we mean about getting pinned. So hopefully we're encouraging businesses to give us that information and uh, we'll work with that. The media buying is the next uh, short bit of information I'd like to give you. The contract, as you know, this project is primarily a advertising campaign. That's where most of the money for the budget has, um, has gone and will go in the future. 
the actual contract, because I'm local authority staff, I have no expertise whatsoever in buying media. So that went out to contract, and the contract was won by a company called Golly Slater. And the, uh, it, the aim is to make the best use of, of the money. So where we're going to be, sorry, who first? The, the media buying, the first three categories of the tourists that we're, we're aiming our campaign at are the cultural explorers, the active, active families and the active explorers. Now that is that range at age range is from 22 up to 50. So we've got a fair chunk of the population and the ones with money, hopefully. The main markets that we have are the UK, the USA, Germany and France in that order. And then we're adding in the Benelux countries as well uh, into our media buying campaign. We're the main bulk of our advertising is going primarily online. Um, we're not doing a huge amount of um, printed material, although we are doing some. The vast majority is going to go online. And the reason for this is that the main source of information for all the people that come from the UK, 74% of their information will come from online, whether it's social media or websites or um, Instagram or Twitter. It's, that's where 74% of all the UK tourists, and it's 62% for USA, 66% for Germany, and 73% for France. So there's quite high percentages of our main tourism um, people actually get their information from social media. So that's why most of our social media or most of our media buying is going to be concentrated on website, Facebook and Twitter, our own ones, and then we'll be putting that out to outside Facebook, Instagram, airports and we have some of some of the print media we have um, we've listed down here. We've we're in the starting phases of of doing the print media as to the who's, the where's, and and the when's. Hopefully, all our social media um, interactions and publicity push will be starting in early December. Now they'll be starting within our main. Um, tourism countries. They'll be starting in the UK, the US, Germany and France. So you won't actually see it here in Ireland so much, but it will be massively pushed within those four, those four major, major um, countries. The advertising, it's going to be done by video. We have various links. We have a video coming up in a few moments. Um, but we have various different lengths of videos as well to suit the various different media types. We have, as I said, probably about 80 hours worth of photography. So if you have a new business and you're looking for some suitable photography, whether you want to create a new brochure or you're in the middle of creating a um, website, you can use the photography that we have commissioned so you don't have to commission your own. A lot of the text that we'll be using for our media campaign has already been created or is in the process of being created. So we're fairly, fairly on track and hopefully everything will be starting in early December, which is just next month. Um, so hopefully you'll join us and try and get pinned my details. Oh, the last slide that, yeah. Um, and I have my business card as well, or if you just call County Hall, they'll be fairly quick to put you through to me. So if you want any more information or if you'd like to get pinned on our website, please do contact.